Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review on Cricket Through the Ages. Cricket through the Ages. This game is an Apple Arcade exclusive. All right, so we have the game loading up here. It's either a two-player game or a single-player game. I'm gonna do the single player here for you guys. And we have different options that we can play. So the first option is Cricket Three Ages, Ashes World Cup, England Premium League, Royal Badminton, World War, Quantum Cricket, the Games of Olympus, and back to Cricket Through the Ages. So I'm going to play Cricket Through the Ages for you guys here. And um, we're going to see just a quick little uh, tutorial. And again, this gives just tapping the L1 or the R1 buttons uh, pretty much. I'm just choosing uh, my play right now. Thousand years ago, on the left humankind hand side teetered of the on the edge of extinction. And we have this constant sort of narration going on between the different ages and time periods. And uh, this game is, a, it's a pretty silly game to be honest with you guys. Um, then, you know, right there was I was invented. a dinosaur. And, um, you know, we have this constant narration. And uh, it's almost, I don't want to say it's a fighting game. It's, I don't know if it's a fighting slash sports game slash strategy game, puzzle game. Um, but essentially you're just trying not to be knocked out. So, you know, within different rounds you have maybe a, a rock that you can throw or a snake like what we're seeing there. Um, different size rocks. You could be a dinosaur. You could throw a bone. So you can see the, the, the objective of the game is not to be knocked out. And you can tell if you've been knocked out by, uh, by the eyes. You kind of get those X's over the eyes there. And so you can throw things, but also you can have like a melee where you are kind of swinging a club or whatever it may be. So there's different sort of items you see uh, throughout the game here. And then if you uh, lose your weapon or you lose your item, then you can kind of go into some sort of like hand combat while you're swinging your arms. So yeah, the, the motion mechanics and kind of everything like that is, is very loose in this game. You can see kind of the way that the characters are moving and kind of hopping and hobbling along. It's very kind of loose mechanics here. So the control of the game is, is very wonky when you're playing this. Um, th this game, I don't know what it reminds me of. This is very, it's, it's a very unique game. I can't really compare it to anything. Usually I, I can give you guys a comparison, but uh, this is just really kind of a, a very unique game. It's one of one in that sort of way. Right now we're in the, I don't know, medieval times, if you want to call it that. And as we move forward, we're going to move through different times um, in history. And uh, right now, I guess it's, this is almost like a campaign mode. You know, the narrator is going to bring me through different ages, and then there will be a, an option for me to continue with cricket or kind of... Kind of go a different route, so just hold on to your seats here. Yeah, it's a very, def definitely a very uh, silly game. Not fighting quite. Uh, In 1877, too much fighting, more the game was finally adjusting and became humankind's most beloved. Now we're in 1877 here, I guess. So we're, we're getting closer to modern day. This looks like it may be a little bit later than 1877 also, but we're moving through time here. And this looks a little bit closer to cricket, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the reason I wanted to review this game is more so due to us being in an Olympic year, right? So I, uh, I brought up the Olympics in one of my uh, prior videos. 
did a video recently on uh, I think it's Big Time Sports is the name of the game, and that had, had a sports theme to it. Obviously, it's called Big Time Sports, but Cricket Through the Ages also has a sports theme that runs As throughout the, the game. Resources dwindled. Humankind and before I get cricket into that, stars. I think uh, we have like a little bit of a intermission type thing where yeah, we have this rocket sort of challenge where the goal is to get the, the rocket into outer space and I keep crashing it here, but I do pretty well and then what happens is I get the option to take cricket into the future or give up on cricket, which you'll see coming up here soon. Rocky kind of leveled out here. But yeah, the mechanics are very wonky in this game. When you're tapping, it doesn't seem, you know, overly responsive or it's too responsive. You kind of go back and forth here. So I'm doing well now. But space travel proved to be expensive. So buy fuel Was humanity cricket. willing to pay the price? Gave up on cricket and we ran out of fuel, so crashing back down. Without cricket, humanity awaited and its then it kind of takes us to like an alternative sort of future here, where humanity is kind of falling apart. But um, I wanted to get back into the, the sports related theme here. So, again, I'm reviewing this game. And I'm gonna actually gonna end this. I'm gonna end this. So yeah, you can turn the music off, the sound effects, or, or I think or the narrator. I'm gonna end this game and do the uh, I think it's the Olympus, yeah, the games of Olympus here. I wanted to bring this up because it's an Olympic year, and um, I'm a big fan of the Olympics. Like I've said in my prior videos, I was uh, big into track and field in high school. College. For centuries, athletes have trained for the and greatest in big time sports event to get in the world. Reviewed prior on this channel. Again, there's a lot of Olympic, uh, Olympic type games that are recorded in that Olympic events. So there's One also day, every four years, kind of that ongoing the nations Olympic of the world theme gather, that I have right here within this game. Compete. But again, you see the wonky mechanics here of trying to get the to torch. Decide. Who has uh, the most medals? Kind of to light up the, uh, you know, I'm not sure what that's called, but, you know, to light that flame. Welcome to the most so, prestigious event uh, in sport. We'll, we're going to go through a few events Where here. We will so, see uh, the best humanity has to offer. I think this is at the interpretive dance or creative dance. Are the games well, first of thing, Olympus. but again, we're going to get into, I think, Weight swimming, lifting. weightlifting's here first, uh, gymnastics, and some of this we saw in my other game, Big Time Sports. So, the mechanics that do this sort of, uh, what do we call it, hang clean, jerk clean, snatch, whatever we want to call it, is a little bit different, but um, it's funny kind of how a lot of these things overlap. And, uh, and again, I think this may be a special sort of thing due to it being on the gear here. But uh, yeah, you, you can see how there's some overlap. Three attempts left. And again, the, the, the function for this is a little bit different. So we're tapping to lift weights. This kind of breaks up Swimming. the whole uh, attack uh, mode thing a little bit. Uh, this one's wonky here too. You can dive in and swim across uh, the water and touch the wall before the other player does. So I'm going to try to kind of pick up on the mechanics. So whoever touches first gets the, uh, gets the metal. So you can swim by tapping and you can touch the wall. Again, very, very awkward game. And again, yeah, to a certain extent, this feels like it's unfinished or underdeveloped a little bit. Um, you know, I realize it's a bunch of mini games, and I, I, and I do like mini games. I was always a fan of like the Mario Parties, but um, yeah, there should be a, a way to maybe um, I don't know, do some more. I don't know what to call it, but. 
do some more tracking and kind of more structure, I guess, to the game. Like with a Mario Party, there's a lot of structure with kind of being on a board and, and rolling the dice and taking turns and, and things like that. Um, if it was more kind of organized that way, uh, it may be more fun. So I, I do see a lot of opportunity for that uh, for this game, but it could clean up the mechanics a little bit and maybe... Um, Know, from two players make it four players and kind of have uh you know have some some more kind of uh i guess different mini games that kind of use different dynamics uh when playing so this is the high jump and again this looks super awkward and you know i'm tapping the controller and then once the player the athlete left. gets to that second line, it kind of makes them hop up. Two so. attempts left. And you can see my attempts go down as I attempt and <laughs> as I hit the bar here. Last chance. And again, I, and again I, I love track and field. I love the Olympics, so. Oh, okay, we cleared it there. So I, I love all these sort of events, but um, I just wish that the gameplay and the mechanics. Uh, we're a little bit cleaner. But I realize it's supposed to be a silly game. It's supposed to be a unique game. One game that I used to play a lot back in the day was International Andy. Track and Field. And um, before I get into that, uh, this this is also very awkward. This is the climbing wall. Two attempts left. And I just cannot get the, di the dynamics and mechanics down for this game. Last chance. I couldn't get my guy up the wall. So that went really bad. So we have canoeing here. This is also very awkward. But, you know, I just have to get it coordinated so that, again, they're not hitting each other. Both from the water. So I think I kind of pick it up here. Yeah, just, just you know, this this one's also pretty awkward. Uh, trying to get the uh, mechanics down because again, the tapping is not as responsive on certain games. It's not the same sort of. Sensitivity every At half time. time the oh, okay, we have a halftime score test. tally here. At home, everyone is counting on that. You know, so you can see where I got the goals, bronze, and climbing and finish. Hurdles. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, all right. We made it. Not bad. Equestrian. Equestrian. This one also doesn't go so well. Can't get my horse to jump. Three attempts left. But uh, yeah, I was talking about international track and field just a moment ago. That was one of my favorite games uh, back uh, in the day on the original PlayStation. One and the mechanics of that game were, were good, right? You know, obviously the graphics now are you know well out of date. But again, the mechanics Karate. of that game were, were very fun. The 100 meter sprint and um, you know the jumping and the hurdling and everything like that it was a fun game it was it was tight gameplay dynamics and it was, it, was just, it was a fun game so you know hopefully we can get something like that in the future uh, back on you know the apple arcade or apple tv something that's that tight and um, just kind of an all-around fun game this is karate so you have an option to step back or move forward and kick. So I'm just kind of learning the, the dynamics here. And kind of some of the physics in this game are just, just wild. Yeah, this is karate. And again, I'm looking oh, forward to the uh, the Summer Olympics here. We have archery. This one's pretty cool. I think this, by the second shot, I catch her in the head, which is funny. <laughs> and 
then I think the third one or fourth one, I actually take the uh, apple off, which is really cool. So let's see if I can get this right. Oh, that one didn't go off so well. And I got this one good. There we go. Perfect. Gymnastics. All right, and then we'll end with gymnastics here. Uh, thank you for making it through this video. If you made it to the end, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.